Hi everyone, welcome to Sandra Sensations. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to be doing a special painting tonight because I am the worst twin sister ever. A few weeks ago, my twin sister and I did a painting video, which I'll have in the top right corner that you can click on and watch it if you want. It was lots of fun. Our paintings turned out awesome. And then a couple of weeks go by, the painting is here drying with mine, of course, and all the other paintings that I have. And I decided I would take a bunch of paintings to work and put them in the break room because I needed to make room for new paintings that I was doing. Good deed, everybody at work loves the paintings. Some of them hang on their desk, some of them take them home. I just lay them out in the break room and it's a free for all. So, I took my twin sister's painting with mine and gave it away. And she just came to visit this afternoon and said, oh, I should take my painting home. And I was like, uh-oh, light bulb moment. I sure hope I still have her painting. And we went through all my paintings in my studio here. And sure enough, it's gone with the other one that I did with her on that video. So again, the video will be on the top right corner for you to click on if you want to watch it. It's quite cute. And I am going to do a special painting for her. She wants to have some red burgundy reddish colored flowers with some bla black and gray and silver and throw in a little bit of glitter in there too. So I'm going to do that for her. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. It would be very much appreciated. And everybody that keeps coming back, thank you so much. And trust me, I'm usually not that bad of a twin sister, but truly, I dropped the ball on this one big time. So I've got a 10 by 20 canvas in front of me. White's acrylic is already on there. I'm just going to blow out a couple of these bubbles and get started. I always like to do flower paintings, so this one will be fun to do. I have beside me the iridescent, the Aztec, Aztec, oh, I keep saying it wrong. Sorry, it is Arteza. That 10 pack iridescent that I've done on a couple of previous videos, check it out on my channel. This is the iridescence dry. Now, I don't know if you can pick up how shiny that is in the video, but it is just awesome. So if you get a chance to try these paints, definitely do. They're excellent. I have links in my description, all the stuff that I buy from Amazon and I talk about. So you can click on there and get yourself some if you choose to. I do make a small percentage in Amazon gift cards to replace some of my stock. So feel free to click on the link and buy yourself some paint. Again, I would be very much appreciated if you did that as well. Okay, let's do this. I've got chains put aside. I've got a really dark green and black mixed together. She wanted to have a little bit of a gray tone. So I've also got some of the Metallic Deco Art Extreme Sheen Silver. I'm going to be adding that into the painting as well. So I'm going to put this on some of my chain and start doing this. And go all the way down the length of it roughly. And do a couple of them. I cannot believe I gave away my sister's painting. <laughs> I'm just like, Karen, I'm so sorry if you're watching. I hope you love this painting. Thank goodness she loves me or I'd be in big trouble. Maybe I can talk her into coming and doing another painting. I'll make her sign it right away. Then <laughs> I won't give it away on her. Oh my goodness. Okay, now I'm just adding some of the Extreme Sheen Silver in here as well, just in a couple of different areas. And I just have a piece of plastic laying here where the paint is 
just going to kind of pull up on that plastic. Might reuse it for something else. You never know. Okay, first chain up. And I'm going to put it right about here. And then I'm just going to start pulling it down. All the way to the bottom. There we go. I'm going to lay that back in the paint just in case I need more. And let's do another one. I think this one's going to go right about here. Okay, then I'll start pulling that one through. Happy with that so far. Chain number three. See, it's going to go right here. All right, one more chain to go here. Where do I want to put it? Let's take a look for a second. <clears throat> Maybe right here? Or do I want one bigger? Coming down. No, I'm going to go right here. Right there. Let's pull this guy through. Perfect. Okay. I'm just going to leave those sitting in the paint for a bit just in case I want to add more. And I'm going to take my little air compressor airbrush I should call it. This I got from Amazon as well. It's like $60. There'll be a link in the description if you want to try one out. Cordless battery operated airbrush. Best thing ever. You don't have to use a straw anymore. Now I just like to blow out the edges a little bit just to give it more of a bloom, leafy kind of look. Some of them I leave, some of them I blow out. You're the artist, you get to choose. Okay. 
Now, where do I want to put my flowers? I've mixed up, this is a burgundy color that I made up with red and black. And I've added some bright red to it as well. A couple of different reds. So this is my own kind of a black cherry color is what I made. I'm going to be doing that for flowers, but I just got to figure out where I want to put them here. Let's start out. I'm going to do one right here. Just at the tip here. I'm going to do a puddle of that. And a puddle right here. And a puddle right here. Those are the three spots I'm going to start with. And I'm also going to do some apple red. Okay, let's see how those do. I'm going to put a touch of my Extreme Sheen Silver in the middle. I might regret that, but we'll see. I'm just going to let that sit for a minute, let it settle. Let's do, you know what, I think I need a little bit more of this color in here. Not enough of that showed through. This is just me following my gut here. Okay, again, I'm going to let that sit for a bit. Let's see where else I want to do this. I think right about here. And this time I'm just going to put some silver in it. Let's see if I like that better. That one's really pretty. I do like that better. Okay, that gives me my answer I want for down here. Okay, so now I want to do probably, I'm just going to draw a line down here, and a line down here since it started doing it already for me. Okay, I think I'm going to do over here some red, and here.
with a tiny bit of silver. Very pretty. Okay. Let's do a little bit of red up here. With a little bit of the extreme sheen silver. Okay. So now let me work on doing some petal detail. And what I'm doing is just pulling some of the white into the painting. Okay. I sure hope this painting is going to make up for my screw up. Can't believe I did that. Okay. Now this one's got lots of petal detail showing. Just with what I did with blowing the lines of silver and red. Very pretty. Not sure if I need to do much more with that one. It's pretty awesome. Okay. Good, good. Like that, like that. This one's pretty good too. I think right there. Okay. Okay, this one's good, pretty good. Okay, this one is just a little bit more of a line detail for the petals. That's pretty good. Okay. Now this one.
how are we doing? I'm on my tiptoes to see this top flower. That looks pretty good. <clears throat> now this one. Not as crazy about the top of that one. I might have to add some red blow it out a little bit more That's much better. Okay, now she wanted to have some glitter on here too. to try and figure out where I want to put some glitter. all look really good. Okay, now to do some glitter. Let's see. I'll do something down here too. I'm just going to take my paint knife Grab some color from my tray. Much nicer. Okay. Just about done here. I hope you're still with me. Where do I want to add some more? Hmm. Maybe right here. Oops, <laughs> made my line a little squiggly there. Got to fix that. Much nicer. Okay.
Okay, I gotta fix that one for sure. That was a oops. Always got a blooper in my videos, and that was a blooper for sure. I'm just going to blow that out a little bit. Hopefully I don't mess up my flowers. Knocking paintings over. Okay. There we go. I think I fixed that. Looks like a leafy effect. That's much better. Okay, I'm going to turn it. I'm not going to torch it because I don't want too much cell action on it. Karen, I hope you're watching and I hope you're in love with this painting. There we go. You're going to have to let me know. I haven't added sparkles on here yet. Glitter, I should say, because I want it to dry a bit first and then I'll add some on. So there you go, Karen. Replacement painting for my really bad sister move by giving away the painting that you did with me. I am again so sorry. Okay, everybody, please hit subscribe. Let me know what you think of the painting. Comments, I love reading them. Like, share, comment, subscribe. And if you want to shop at Amazon, click on one of my links below in the details. Thanks, everyone.